These are the first non-government supplied images inside a facility serving separated migrant children. They were obtained by MSNBC and secretly recorded last week by a former worker at the Cayuga Center in New York before she quit. That worker is critical of the president's zero tolerance policy. Today, 17 states plus Washington, D.C. sued the government over family separation, arguing the Trump administration violated constitutional due process rights. The rhetoric we hear from the other side on this issue, as on many others, has become radicalized. Customs and Border Protection has already announced a pause in prosecutions of adults arriving here with children. Until they can build the resources and the coordination to keep family units together, we would not expect to see any family unit prosecutions for the misdemeanors. As for reuniting kids already separated, HHS Secretary Alex Azar told a Senate committee that migrant parents have options. There is no reason why any parent would not know where their child is located. I've sat on the ORR portal with, with just basic keystrokes within seconds could find any child in our care for any parent. How easy is it for these migrants to just hop on a computer? Listen, I mean, we're talking about people coming from rural communities in Mexico or in Guatemala and Central America. In many of them, they don't have computers. They don't know how they work. People like Mario, who didn't want us to use his last name, but is desperate to find his 10-year-old daughter. I haven't heard anything, he says, as he and so many others wait. As the First Lady prepares to visit the border again later this week, the Department of Health and Human Services now says it has 2,047 migrant children in its custody. That's only six fewer than last week. Today, the department wouldn't say whether it's still receiving separated children. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.